I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. And look where it got me. I'm a fucking butterfly. So we're going to play through Mansion of Hidden Souls for Sega CD and Sega Saturn. Beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's get this started. Should also note, Mansion of Hidden Souls is an entire—it's an entirely Sega series. They produced the games in Japan, and they left them on the Sega CD and Saturn. They were never remade, never reissued. We're going to see this whole series from start to finish, and we'll begin to understand why these games were never remade. <laughs> so you like butterflies? Wow, Alex, what do you think? I guess they're okay. I'm just trying to. What are they saying here? So kind of quiet. Hey, let's follow it to see where it goes. Maybe it'll fly to the flower garden under the old elm tree. No way. We better go home or we'll be in big trouble. Besides, Grandma told us never to go anywhere near the elm tree. Remember, she said that there's ghosts there and that they turn us into butterflies if we stared at one long enough, especially during a full moon. That's how it happens. Oh. Ghost. Besides, I think it would be fun to be a butterfly. <laughs> hey, wait! No! This mono sass music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, this was a very particular time in video game history. When CG was the big thing. Mist had just come out. Everyone wanted to make their own mist, make those mist dollars. This is Sega's attempt. And apparently they weren't too confident in it because when it came time to release it in the States, they declined. Uh, it was up to publisher Vic Tokai to take it up and publish it under their banner. Fronting all the costs, taking all the risks. It's beautiful. The mansion. There it is. We're all the whole souls of... No. Alex, we haven't even started the game and you already called it the Mansion of Hidden Holes. Are you kidding me? Do we have to restart this stream? <laughs> Mansion I'm of so Hidden sorry. Souls, everyone. I'm so sorry. It's a 1994 video game by Sega, very late in the Sega CD's life. Uh, 95 was when the PlayStation and Saturn came out. So this was pretty much at the end of the console's life at this point. Let's start a new game. You should also note these games are very dialogue intensive, and if you can't hear the dialogue, let us know. Yeah, I may need to turn it up uh, Where manually. Where am pretty... I? How can this be? There was no mansion here before. Voice acting's pretty good, by the way. All right, and our quest begins. There's no HUD in this game, no nothing. It's all just first-person exploration through these linked FMV sequences, which is something that CD-ROM was good for back then. Oh, a fireplace. Let's get away from the fireplace. That doesn't seem good. Got it. All right, what we're looking for here is booze. Those bottles are empty. I see a liquor cabinet. Here we go, the good stuff. Oh, it's locked. Okay, our main mission now is to find the key to the liquor cabinet. Submission, find our lost sister who wandered in. First of all, here's our diary. Write down all our hidden thoughts and feelings here. God, this game has a great grainy look. It does. Uh, may want to turn down the audio for these portions, like not when butterflies are speaking, which is 99% of the game. Yeah, as we brought up before, the Sega CD can only display 64 colors on screen at any given time, so any video you create for it will have to be crushed in terms of uh, color usage. For the most part, it works pretty well. 
The screen is pretty big for Sega CD, not full screen or nothing. But there are some visual glitches throughout. They just make it more endearing, though. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I get, be careful, honey. I'm also very clumsy. <laughs> So really put yourself into the mood to play this game. Really imagine what it's like to be locked in a butterfly house. Ramming into the walls. Ramming into the walls. Whoa, everybody, watch out. <laughs> I'm just kind of stumbling around, looking for any booze. But who's in here? Ah, someone else is here. It's unusual that we have two guests in one evening. Two guests, huh? She's talking about our sister. Oh! You must be the brother of the little girl visiting here just a while ago. You have no business here. You do not have the same intention as that of your sister. Well, okay, butterflies live here, and they don't like us. Or at least this one doesn't. This, uh, this butterfly's a lady who's hanging around in a pool house. I don't know. She kind of reconstructed a bar or something here. Oh, sounds about right. Wait, she's got a bar. Maybe she's got booze. Oh, yeah. Good idea. It's like good booze thinking. everywhere here, Danny. Do you need to adjust the sound more? No, it looks all right. Okay. Are you going to talk to her again? Might hear from her in a bit. Oh. Our sister's in here somewhere. Did you hear that? That was the voice of your sister. I oh. want to see her. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Thanks. She's going to be real helpful. All right, so over here, we have a window into the future. That picture there serves as the game's hint system. If you ever get confused, you can just go there and see where to go next. It straight up just tells you. And this is one of the game's most complicated puzzles. I'm not going to explain it. Don't worry about I, it. Okay. It'll just stress you out. Okay, that's, I get it, but what about the alcohol? Yeah, that's, that's what we're going for here. Mm -hmm. That butterfly lady, she drank all the booze, and the rest of it is locked up. But in the picture, we saw a dresser, which I think is in here. Wow, Barbie's dream mansion. <laughs> yeah. Who's there? But, ah, oh, we have a new guest. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, she doesn't hate us. That's good. It's been a long time since I've had a human guest. Most of the humans that wander into this mansion become butterflies. Yeah, so we've heard. That tends to happen around here. That looks familiar. And under here... Oh, a key! Oof. Yeah, those parts get a little loud. How can this be? Well... I refuse to show you which door it opens. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Man, butterflies are pretty jerk. nice until they realize you want to do something. Oh, you don't just want to stay in here forever and be a butterfly? Then <laughs> screw off! That's the butterfly's catchphrase. Screw off. <laughs> Mansion of Hidden Souls. Screw off! So we have a key, and it unlocks this door. You find that out by trying it on every door in the mansion. Nobody really tells you what keys go to where or anything like that. Do I sense a guest? Yes. It is I. The butterfly enjoyer. Why are you oh. here? Do you want to become a butterfly too? Well, that must be why. Nice picture. He painted it himself. I don't know, being a, Chad's talking about being a butterfly, and yeah, that does sound pretty good. Yeah, 
you're gonna you're gonna think on that while you while you see these games. What existence as a butterfly is like. Nice picture, but what we're here for is this. Nice. Huh. I wonder where that came from. I hope it's useful to you. Wow, I was expecting him to tell me to screw off, but I guess not. <laughs> He's alright, this art guy. He just likes to paint pictures. How does he hold the paintbrush if he's a butterfly? Well, you'll see. Here's one of his uh, more abstract efforts here. Uh oh. Okay, and now we're in hell. I was gonna say, we're out in hell now, right? Yep. We're in a place full of candles and bees, judging by the soundtrack. Uh, there's a quick way out of here. Oh. Yes, yeah, just, that's just walk it. on through. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, God! They even have Australian butterflies. Oh, God! Look at all those... So you like the butterfly collections here. <laughs> I collected them all when they were ugly human figures. Well... Wow, dude. Okay, so this guy collects dead butterflies who used to be humans. That's... Well, you gotta find just, some way to spend your time here I, in the mansion. I was gonna say, that guy, that, that's fucked up, dude. That's not healthy. I don't think that's healthy. A little bit, yeah, it's a little bit, uh... I don't know. What do you think? They're gorgeous, ain't they? I think the butterflies as beautiful as the soul. I visited this mansion to obtain this shape. The shape of souls. Why don't you become a butterfly and lose that ugly human form? No, I don't think so. I oh, know, man, some days. So this guy became a butterfly so he can collect dead butterflies. And he thinks the butterflies are in the shape of a soul. Yeah, interesting. Really wants me to shed my human skin and be a butterfly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm still not convinced. They still have to win me over, these butterflies. They gotta make a good ass argument. Match the shapes of the rooms no longer open. The night with the darkness, the day with the light. Return the original figure, and with the light, you will find what you're looking for. So they make it a little bit more explicit there. Yeah, the dartboard is tied to the uh, ring of candles we saw. Mm. What are you doing here? If you're here to become a butterfly, you must seek out the hunter. The hunter, huh? So we got a collector, a hunter, a uh, little girl butterfly, an artist, I... a drunk. <laughs> they got Should all kinds of us. There's a key. You can't get that until you see the other book for some reason. Oh, I see you found the key to this room. Don't think I hid it from you. It must have been a mischievous soul, as I would never do that. <laughs> All right, dude. Good talk. I'm uh, gonna think about that whole butterfly thing. I don't know, ended up dead on your shelf sounds pretty good, but for now I'm just gonna have a look around, see what my other options are. want to do is escape. We're not going to take uh, Aussie Butterfly up on his uh, offer. No, no. And we're back on the first floor. Like nothing happened. Like we never went to hell at all. And now we have a key for this room. We're something like a third of the way through the game, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a very short game. Young man, what are you doing? Young man? Why ain't you a butterfly? That I, a butterfly, can talk to you? Believe it or not, I was once a human myself. Just as all the butterflies in this mansion once were. Oh boy, we're getting deep into it now. Y'all are gonna love this. 
this game. If you wandered into this mansion by mistake, you had better get out quickly, or you will be captured by the hunter who will turn you into a butterfly. After that, you will no longer be human. All right, there we go with the hunter again. He can turn people into butterflies, but it sounds like she doesn't want that for us. She's actually concerned I with our... when I was human. I was on a small stage together with my friends and I played the piano. Now I cannot even touch the keys. I had many pressures and I felt there was no other choice. So at the time I thought it would be wonderful to be like a butterfly, to be carefree. I know now that I made the wrong decision. I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. And look where it got me. I'm a fucking butterfly. So as we see down here, we found our tuning fork. Oh, good. I really wish Tennessee Williams wrote for Vic Tokai. <laughs> oh. All right, and that allows us to do something different in a room upstairs because cause and effect, you see. This yeah. actually has a lot of in common with Japanese text adventures in that progression involves just kind of doing things until something unlocks and you're allowed to progress. But instead of playing out through menus, it's just this FMV house. But in that sense, that doesn't make playing this feel all that great because if you don't know where to go beforehand, you're just kind of wandering around going through rooms, waiting to butterfly, for butterflies to yell at you. So there's a sense of ex exploration, but if you don't follow the correct path, it's all just empty rooms and stuff. I like this game, but I have criticisms. <laughs> I see, I see. Anyone else like this game? Am I the only one nuts enough to enjoy this? I did have this back in the day, back when it was new. I got this game new for $8 in 1995 or 96. Wow, for real? For some reason, people were clearing out all their Sega CD your games all over the place. You'll never find your sister. Thanks. Thanks. Real helpful. I got this, Lodestar, and Joe Montana's NFL Football for Sega CD. That fucking rules. Uh, of they... those, yeah. this is the best. Go on. A few folks seen this game, think this game's interesting. Uh, Danbo likes it. Uh, it's an interesting curiosity yeah. piece. It's not a terrible game. It's short, it doesn't make much sense, but it's pretty memorable for what it is. I kind of like this. I'm just going to put that out there. I kind I've, of seen, I've seen people react to me saying I was going to play this by being like, oh, that butterfly game, huh? Weird. So it has some sort of... Uh, something makes it memorable. Well, gotta find our sister. Sounds like she's having second thoughts about becoming a butterfly. So of the butterflies we met, two of them hate us. Uh, one of them is pretty indifferent, the art guy. He didn't want us to die. And the southern belle seems actively concerned with us. In fact, she regrets turning into a butterfly. It's not all it's cracked up to be. I don't know, I think that butterfly corpse enjoyer is, uh... That might have something to do with everyone having regrets about being a butterfly. <laughs> they might have uh, ran into the collector a time or two. Speaking of the collector, we're back in his room. Now, we didn't look at his desk last time, but you know what's under his desk? More, more butterfly corpses? That's right, a portal to hell. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm oh about god, to do... Oh god, Turn this loud. down, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. It was actually hard to hear that over the noise, but that was your sister saying, I don't want to be a butterfly. So now we're in full rescue mode. We gotta find her. So if you have a good memory, you know that you have to blow out some of these candles and then relight one candle so that it matches the, uh, the position on the dartboard. I think it goes like this. If you mess it up, you can just go back into the collector's room and try again. Blow out this one, and this one, and then you should light this one with the matches we just got. 
Now the weird thing is you could examine the dartboard before getting the hint in that room, but you would not find the matches. <laughs> you have to get a hint saying that it's there. Oh, here we go. And under the mansion... That's where shit gets wild. This is already pretty fucking wild, dude. Got all these... gears that don't seem to be moving. Ah, uh, the titular Gears of War. Yep, we found them. Mansion of Hidden Cliffy Bees. That would explain the person. Yeah. Uh, I see a figure at the end of the hall, and the music sounds like a, like a I... horror movie, so I'm going to go ahead and save. <laughs> Just out of precaution. Oh, how nice. Oh, rip to Danny. Uh, let's see who this is. Oh, sir? Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. Let's, let's go ahead and move on. Uh. That's in preparation for my turning into a butterfly roll. Help, I'm turning into a butterfly! Ah! <laughs> so you get some backstory in this room. Let's go ahead and turn that up. Okay. Really? Really? It's a little boy. It's a boy. You're right, it is a little boy. Huh. These look like flowers, but, you know. A little girl is coming to <laughs> Is that the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, twins! <laughs> You're kidding. Are they real? <laughs> no, they're fake. <laughs> She's already had the hunter's spell cast. And all these butterflies can't wait to welcome her. Oh yes, so beautiful. Somebody's coming. Uh-oh. They're on to us. Alright, so these butterflies, really? they like they like when people turn into butterflies. They welcome into them into their mansion. But we don't want that to happen. We got a mission now. We gotta find booze and save our sister. Hey, there she is! Oh, wait! Well, let's save our sister. Uh. Uh. Well. That didn't go as planned. May want to turn this down. Oh, look what happened. That's us. You may be wondering how I got myself into this situation. Uh, well, long story. I guess you went to the Mansion of Hidden Souls. Yep. The end. Kind of an abrupt ending for the game. I can see why so many people were uh, dissatisfied with their purchase. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple of parts where you can die and get a game over. Kind of unexpected for a game where you spend the first several hours before you figure out what you're doing, and you just sort of assume there's no way to die. But oh, there is. Luckily we saved pretty close before then. Say hi to our friend the Golem. What's up, buddy? Could have warned us about the, uh, the first step there. <laughs> nah. repeat of that great performance. You can totally feel her turning into a butterfly. Somebody's coming. Yep, it's me. Okay, now what you should have done in here, obviously, instead of walking forward and 
plunging to your death. As you look to your left, and obviously what you need to do is pick up this rose. I... What? Duh. Oh, that... that... Yeah, this rose, see? Oh, the rose! You should note that due to the nature of the game, you can't really look around or do anything, so you won't really know that that's there, but... It's, it's all fun. She'll turn very soon. We gotta hurry. I'm sick of these butterflies talking at me. That's what we do here. Put the flower in the vase. And that happens. Very soon. Very soon. Turn it up a little bit. There we go. I gotta get a move on. We got a whole Saturn game to play through. Let's solve this mystery already. Actually, 7.30? I'm doing pretty good. I was going to say, we are way ahead of schedule. Nope, oh, can't go that way. Can we go this way? Nope. Let's not do that. How about this way? Oh, here we go. Just hop across the columns, and here we are. Butterfly. I Wait, she's already a butterfly? That fucking sucks! Yeah, we'll have to figure out how to do something about that. Well... Turn this up. There's a pretty pretty long dialogue here. Alright. It's pretty turned up. Let's see. There's our man. That's the hunter. Dracula. <laughs> well, you can turn it back down now. So that was a lot of dialogue, and audio mixing is not this game's greatest priority, Ooh, so you may sure not have isn't. caught a lot of that. But apparently once every few full moons, people can come to this house and turn into a butterfly, which according to the hunter is something they do willingly. It's something they have to want in order to make it happen. Which is kind of strange, since our sister kind of wandered in here and then she was all like, no, I don't want to be a butterfly. Makes you think. It does <laughs> this make game. you think. I don't want to repeat that dialogue again in case I mess up, so let's go ahead and move on here. Oh, oh god. Oh, I don't like this music. Let's okay, turn it down. we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta. Wait, I forgot something. Our golem friend. What? What about him? We can't leave without him. He's just there at the end of the hallway, waiting for us. He's see, he's. <gasps> oh God, Jesus! Oh, he's coming to hug me. Aw, oh, thank you, friend. Uh. What? No. What? What? He. He just hugging you. Yeah, he hugged us until we became a butterfly, as so happens. Ah, yes. Those familiar no. with uh, the old folk tales surrounding golems, they turn people into butterflies. They hug them first, and then they get turned into beautiful butterflies. Yeah. The indignity here is that you have to sit through this after dying. You can't skip this. 
It's actually faster to reset the Sega CD. Oh my god. Let's not look at our golden friend this time. Let's oh just, god, it's gets loud again. Let's yeah. just keep on going. Just don't even turn around. Don't look back. Well, goodbye. We fudged up this time. The butterflies are mad at us. And now the gears are turning. There's possibly a killer golem chasing after us. That gear turning noise is terrible, I just want to say. It really is, yeah. They could have picked a better sound to, to communicate that. Alright, we never have to see this room again. Let's just go ahead and get out. Get the heck out of this place. That butterfly you're holding is still red. What do you think you're doing? Its beautiful shape will be destroyed, and it'll turn back into an ugly human if you keep carrying it around like that. No, but get off! I gotta... This is my sister. She don't want to be a butterfly. Alright, let's change her back. Let's get the hell out. Okay, so, here we are. We did it. Back to the front of the house, just... Get out and time. Uh, oh. Uh, Danny. I guess there's something we gotta do. It can't be as simple as just leaving the house. You sure? I have to learn how doorknobs work. Otherwise, my character will just uh, slam into the door over and over. Yeah, you gotta get a. You gotta unlock the doorknob skill tree. I gotta level up, yeah. No, obviously, what you need to do is go back into the art room and get the clock. You see. Oh! Because... Is that sad artist still there? Uh, probably. Are we gonna talk to him? Hey, what happened to this butterfly? It still has red wings. They haven't turned blue yet. I see. You brought it from the basement, didn't you? Don't think you can get out of this mansion. Many have tried. None have succeeded. Okay, so our artist friend has turned on us too. Nobody in this house likes us. <laughs> Everyone's all pissed off. We want to take a, a, a pupil butterfly out of this place. But that ain't no butterfly. That's my sister. Anyway, I'm taking your watch. And from this point on, we're on a time limit. So we really have to hurry gotta invent new shortcuts now. The game gives you an hour in, of in-game time, which is a lot. <laughs> We're not gonna run out. But I will show you one quick way you can save real time, but lose in-game time. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. It's a super secret speedrun strat. Oh. Right on my face. But you're okay. Yeah. That loses about 10 minutes. I was only knocked out for about 10 minutes. It's cool. <laughs> Let's go see the one butterfly who doesn't hate us. The lady? The lady. The lady in the music room. What different and beautiful wings. I see the moon has not yet completed its magic. You may have a chance to reverse the transformation. I say, I say, the moon, it hasn't completed its magic. <laughs> All things considered, though, a Vic Tokai dub job is better than a lot of other dubs from back it then. It is, yeah. The dark is safer if you have a light. Take this and Ron quickly. Take this and Ron. Who's Ron? I've got to find Ron. Smeb says uh, she needs to become a blue butterfly so she, so she can go heal uh, Mr. Bones. That makes sense. <laughs> That's right. Blue butterflies, the health items, and Mr. Bones. Possibly a spinoff in the Mansion of Hidden Souls series. Mansion of Hidden Bones. Good. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> okay, so what we have here is a candle. So we can go in the fireplace. We're gonna conquer our fears. Just gonna jump right into that fireplace, and behind it, of course it's a secret passage. Of course. 
And I got good news. One of our quests is about to become... It's about to come full circle. You remember that liquor cabinet we've been pining after this whole time? Oh my god! Did, are we gonna finally jimmy it open with a crowbar? Nope. You smack your head into the wall here and the key shows up. <laughs> You actually have to bonk into the wall to make this ha that happen. Oh, that's good. Gosh darn. Yeah, there's not going to be dialogue for a bit, okay. so you can keep it low for now. But this is the end game. Can you feel it? Can you feel the electricity in the air in the Mansion of Hidden Souls? We're about to be the first people to break out of this place in a million years. But what of the butterflies? What of the people we left behind? Let's get them drunk. Exactly. All right, we got 45 minutes left. It progresses a certain amount of time per number of FMV scenes you see, I think. All right, here we are. Scroll past our sister, finally <laughs> liquor cabinet key. At last. And we find the Crest of Grapes. <laughs> My family was built on large bunches of grapes. It is with pride we put it on our crest. And where'd we see a crest? Oh, it was in the fireplace. Well, let's go. Yeah, here they kind of don't bother spacing out the puzzles. They're all like, you're at the end of the game. It's all just going to take place here. <laughs> you get a key just... and you go back a room and you use it there. Just keep crawling in the fireplace, kid. Mm -hmm. To some fucking Vic Tokai programmer smoking, like, a cigarette. <laughs> Sochi in his other hand, just fucking out of it. Ah, I don't want to draw another room. Let's just have him walk back and forth a few more times. Danny Sons at the door. Oh. <laughs> Are you convinced by my ladder climbing sounds? Very. So let's go through door number three, let's say. It's a mirror. Stop bonking it! All my bonking skills cannot get through this mirror. We got we got to do something else. We're right at the end of the game, but it throws us another curveball. Got to do one more thing. Okay, I think I think I know where we're going. We gotta go talk to the little girl again. She's probably really mad at us now. <laughs> wow, I don't like you and you have a red butterfly? Wow. Get the hell out of my mansion of hidden souls. Her brother is bonk, yes. <laughs> I use my massive caveman noggin to smash into things to solve puzzles. I just think it's great that they recorded all those FMV sequences for bonking into every single wall, because the game will let you. And what we need here is cake. Looks delicious. Oh my god, it does. But what looks more delicious is this crystal. I... nice, I guess. Hey, what are you doing with that crystal? Put it back! I'm not... It carries the power to repel the magic of the moon. If you don't handle it wisely, you could be banished from the mansion forever! Oh, oh no, I definitely don't want that. Oh god! Leaving the Mansion of Hidden Souls? Okay, so that's an interesting wrinkle. If we leave, the mansion disappears, and all the people who have been living here as butterflies will have an accelerated lifespan. That kind of sucks for them. I can see why they didn't want us here or want us leaving. Yeah, Danny, that, that sucks a lot! Also, more speed strats. Landed on my face again, it's fine. You know me, old Iron Face Jones. Also, I'm like six years old or whatever. I'm a six-year-old with a key to the liquor cabinet. Nobody can stop me. We're about to finish Mansion of Hidden Souls. You excited? I, I, I'm excited, Bonk. <laughs> Everyone's just calling you Bonk. Yeah, I'm Bonk. 
<laughs> they just recorded a different bonk for every wall in the game. I gotta appreciate that. So we've seen a lot here, but this place is still pretty mysterious. We haven't gotten to know any of the butterflies, really. We've only known them on a superficial level. <laughs> we don't have a real... A real working knowledge, a real uh, emotional intimacy with these butterflies. We just superficially know them. Yeah, we just know we gotta get out of this place. So, what you do here is you're presented with one final obstacle. You got a series of doors you gotta go through. If you pick the wrong one, you're spit out on the first floor of the mansion. You gotta try again. Now, obviously, if you've been paying attention to the story, Alex... Yes. What you would know is you have to go through all the doors that have multiples of three on them. Oh, that makes perfect sense! Uh, as far as I know, this is never explained in the game at all. You just kind of have to muddle your way through it. Unless you have a walkthrough. We're looking through door for door 33. Then we're looking for 777, and then 345. See, it was just one final obstacle. They couldn't just have you complete the game. They gotta have one more way to make sure you might run out of time. How to make you do math. <laughs> Quick, do some long division. 3, 3, 3, 12, and 17, and we should be free. Are you 12? Yes. Nice. 27. Not door one. Or eight. This one. And time. All right. We're done. That concludes my Mansion of Hidden Souls speed run. Thank you. Go in peace. Wait, young lad. Where are you going? Don't go. He makes a good argument, but I'm going to have to turn him down. We did it! We are free! Ah, <sighs> there it goes. It's disappearing, <sighs> along with all the butterflies who lived inside. But none of that matters, because we're alive. We're out here. Down a little. We're apparently like one foot tall. We were a tiny baby. Yeah, we were <laughs> absolutely... It's like a tiny baby falling on his face from the second floor. Over and over. Honey, I shrunk the uh, Victokai character. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the protagonist, yeah. <laughs> and so we come full circle. The game ends where it began. With these flowers that change color depending on the Sega CD palette. There she is. Oh, good! Our sister, human once again, deciding she had enough of the butterfly life. That's right, our sister from Alice in Wonderland. I was gonna say, it's Alice in Wonderland! She is dressed just like Alice. Ah, our beautiful, faceless sister. She might have a face that's kind of hard to see with the Sega CD detail being what it is. But we escaped from the Butterfly Mansion. We've solved the case. We've cracked the mystery. Let's celebrate with some booze. Oh, the booze disappeared too! No! God damn it, Danny! Oh, bad them. end. <laughs> bad end. Bad end. <laughs> so that is a pretty complete playthrough of Mansion of Hidden Souls. You have no reason to play this game. There's, <laughs> You're really missing nothing by not playing it yourself. But for what it is, wow, Judy the Winch, Montana. That's a cool name. <laughs> it's The game's got its own style. It's pretty memorable for what it is. Not especially great. Not especially deep. But it's a Sega CD exclusive FMV adventure game. 
and you just saw it in full. Congratulations! Yeah! You stuck through that whole game! But like I mentioned before, we only scratched the surface on the mansion. We barely got to know these butterflies. What if we could talk to them, to, to really get to know them, to, to answer yes or no questions, really dig deep into their psyches? To talk with the butterflies? Walk with the butterflies? All those things and more will happen in the Sega Saturn sequel, THE Mansion of Hidden Souls, which we'll play next. Nice. There oh. it is. The end. Mansion of Hidden Souls. Not a great game, but pretty good, pretty memorable. It's alright. Mansion. The Mansion of Hidden Souls. Perfect.